RHCI Pillar 3 initiative is an exciting opportunity to develop best practice for the embedment of virtual laboratories as an innovative pedagogical tool in science programmes. Educationally, our goals are to improve student engagement and learning and to teach enterprise relevant transversal skills. We are a consortium of five higher education institutions with all partners running successful modern programmes in chemistry and the related sciences. We have students through from first to final year undergraduates, students on taught MSc courses, as well as research students on MSc and PhD programmes. In the 2021 period, the higher education sector has made a 10 year leap in embracing new technologies. But it's not all about the technology. There is still much to learn so that we can best deploy these new tools in our programmes and develop the skill sets required for graduate employment. One of the key strengths of our project is that we will work iteratively with decisions about project direction being informed by input from student, enterprise and university staff partners and by data on student engagement and performance. We will share the findings of our initiative within and across our institutes, disseminating our experiences and so foster best practice. Science labs traditionally take place in purpose buildings with the necessary infrastructure and shared fume cupboards, with individual workstations stocked with equipment, glassware and reagents. Students arrive on the designated day at the scheduled time to do their experiments. Please note, safety is paramount. Students must wear safety glasses and a lab coat and keep hair tied back. The lab experience is the keystone of an experimental science degree and, for most students, it is here that their interest in science really comes alive. Staff take great pride in producing a high quality lab experience. The students get to work with each other and they can interact with staff, the academic in charge, the technical officer and the demonstrators. But most undergraduate labs are very busy places and the students are under constraints to complete the lab in the allotted time period. Students are expected to learn a wide range of concepts and techniques over a number of lab classes. It can lead to cognitive overload. They learn practical skills like how to synthesize compounds, analytical skills like how to accurately make up and determine the concentration of solutions by titration experiments or by recording UV visible spectra. They learn skills to determine sample purity like how to work with sophisticated instrumentation like a HPLC instrument. They learn skills to determine compound structure, characterising the sample by infrared spectroscopy or by NMR spectroscopy. At the same time as developing their practical skills, students are learning about the theory behind the chemistry and the techniques. The lab is a learning intensive environment. So what if we could improve that experience by allowing students to be more prepared before they enter the science building? Virtual labs provide that very opportunity. Students can be learning about techniques outside the lab and experiment anywhere at any time. There's full flexibility of access and since there are no constraints on time or resources, students can repeat the experiment again and again and again until they are confident they have mastered the technique. There is much scope for reinforcement and refinement of skills. Students are free to move away from cookbook experiments and try out things to see if they work, to problem solve and to troubleshoot. And as there are no health or safety or cost implications, students can learn from their mistakes in a risk-free environment. With appropriately creative course development, the student experience of working in a virtual lab can be more like the day-to-day -day experience of a scientist in a real work environment than it would be in a traditional undergraduate lab. Our students will develop new skills and reinforce their practical abilities outside of the constraints of a traditional lab. 
In university science courses, the skills of interacting and working in teams are often overlooked. And not surprisingly, science graduates are frequently described as lacking in teamwork skills. We aim to change this perception. Students can practice teamwork by working together on industry-related problems with model data, taking on different roles to gain an insight into how science teams work together in industry, to solve problems under time constraints, present data, prepare reports and make presentations. These are some of the members of our team and we are excited to, together, take this leap forward in modern education.